Calling all landlords tonight, the Stanislaus County Community Services Agency is asking for your help in providing housing for a handful of families who will be forced to move from a transitional housing facility by the end of this week. New at 11, CBS 13's Linda Muma talked with some of the families and shows us how you can help find them a permanent home. I was down and out on my luck and I was doing pretty bad. And now I can finally say I'm, I'm moving up. David Kent considers his family to be fortunate. If we didn't have this, I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't know where we would be at right now. After living in a cold weather shelter in Empire for the last four months, he, his wife, and their five children moved into a new apartment in Turlock. We got the keys to the place, and it's just, it's just like God's just, just throwing blessings on us. They were one of 23 homeless families Stanislaus County's Community Services Agency temporarily placed in a migrant farm worker facility during the winter months. Uh, this is an example of a three bedroom unit. As of this morning, the agency has found all but four families a new home. Oh yeah, all hands are on deck right now. Phone calls are being made. And is now calling on area landlords to step up and help. And we have programs that will help with rental assistance. That includes deposits and last month's rent. Under the county's care, many of the families have been able to pursue an education, find better paying jobs, and take care of other needs to get back on their feet. And uh, those things uh, were made possible because they didn't have to worry about housing, albeit like again for a short amount of time, but it didn't, uh, they didn't have to worry about that. Steps that allow David Kent to start his own landscaping business, his wife to graduate from school, and their kids an opportunity to grow up with a roof over their heads. I actually can't wait for the, for the next few months and see where it goes. To find out how you can help, you can log on to our website. That's CBS13.com. By the way, the county is planning to expand the program next year.